what's going on everybody and welcome back to another outriders video today we continue our quest of reviewing all of the legendary armor and weapons recently leaked so that way you guys can get a sense of what will be available at launch or what armor sets or legendary weapons you want to grind for more also i'm giving a few copies of outriders away for free before launch so if you'd like a copy make sure you subscribe right now and then follow the instructions in the description below to enter the giveaway good luck on winning and let's get started all right, so as we discussed in our previous video, a big leak took place a few days ago at the hands of an online moniker known as Quirky Service, who I also promised that I would mention in the next video. So they are the ones that actually posted the pictures to, I believe it was Reddit, that detailed a ton of legendary armor sets and weapons never seen before. So today we'll move on to the Pyromancer armor sets, discussing the potential in each, some important attributes or buffs they give, and of course, what builds will most likely work best with them. Okay, so first First on our list is the Torturer's set, which is already intimidating in the name alone. For starters, this set sports a very volcanic wasteland theme, but focuses highly on Ash status effect with the Ash Blast skill. For those unaware, Ash Blast creates an anomaly blast that inflicts Ash onto all nearby enemies, which is good because Ash causes enemies to become immobile and unable to perform any actions for a set period of time. Now with this set, you're also applying damage with Ash Blast as well as increasing your leech skill for health regeneration. Volcanic Rounds is also at the core of this armor set, especially if three pieces are equipped as the Volcanic Rounds aura that surrounds each bullet will triple in size. Now, with the waist cloth piece, the Volcanic Rounds is effective for an additional magazine before triggering the cooldown. Overall, this armor set seems to suit players well who want to ultimately rely on Volcanic Rounds and crowd control for mob waves, which is important considering the Pyromancers have plenty of AoE damage skills to combine this mechanic with. Next, we move on to the Lava Lich set, which is nothing short of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets a Fire Shaman. Now, to be honest, if I were the main Pyromancer, this set would be the most exciting for me personally. Phaser Beam and Eruption are at the center of the set, with some increases in long range damage and life leech. With three pieces equipped, Eruption's cooldown time is reduced and damage is increased. If you're unaware, Eruption is an explosive skill that causes a volcanic eruption under targeted enemies dealing damage and applying burn over time. With the chest piece, Eruption's radius is increased by a whopping 100%, and with the charms piece, you can activate it twice before cooldown. The phaser beam skill fires an energy beam that deals damage based on status power, inflicting burn and interrupting enemies, making it seem almost perfect for any boss fight that you're going to be doing. With the helmet, instead of burn, you can apply ash and boost your anomaly power by 15%, but it also stacks up to 5 times. Now with the leggings alone, you can increase the beam's radius by 100%, so more enemies are affected if they are grouped together. Overall, the Lava Lich set seems perfect for crowd control, but also AoE because of Eruption. Using Phaser Beam to apply Ash while Eruption eats away at each enemy seems like the perfect combination to have with a long range weapon or assault rifle. Last but not least is the Molten Lava Magma Rock Akari set, which focuses solely on Heat Wave and Overheat skills. Now, interestingly enough, some pieces of the armor set have either close or long range damage buffs, but this armor set seems more suited for close range action. With three pieces equipped, every enemy damaged by Heat Wave grants 25% anomaly power bonus for an additional 10 seconds. Now, although I was not impressed with Heat Wave as a skill during the demo, the helmet increases the width of the fire wall when used while the chest piece allows you to use Heat Wave twice. Additional damage is dealt with boots if three enemies are hit by Heat Wave, and you can receive a 15% weapon damage bonus if the gauntlets are equipped, which would be good for SMG, assault rifles, or shotgun builds. Now, if you weren't aware, Overheat is an explosive skill that deals roughly 3% damage to enemies nearby, but applies the burn effect at about 45% of your anomaly power. The chest armor reduces overheat cooldown by 50%, while the boots could give you a 150% increase in damage if fire and ash statuses are consumed to deal that actual damage. So there you have it, all of the recently leaked legendary Pyromancer armor sets. In the comments below, let me know what your thoughts are on Pyromancer class so far if you played it during the demo. If you need a free copy of Outriders, be sure to monkey slap that subscribe button and follow the description below for a chance to win. My name is Silverback, our quest is complete, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.